Hello Factorio people, welcome back to the reverse Crastorio 2 Mega Base. My UPS dipped there for a moment, that's odd. Um, there's been a there's been a patch to the game. And it allows the loader mechanic to work with with cargo wagons. Um, I haven't tested it. But it is a, it is quite a big change. But we have to decide now whether that is something that we, we actually want to do. It will require redesigning some things. But we have to decide on if it is if it is relevant. Where is this train? We don't do that yet. Oh that's right, I mimicked it with the, with this. Okay, alright, let's try let's go and find somewhere else. It never used to work, loaders, to cargo wagons, obviously, which is why so many of my, in fact all of my designs are, uh, I've gone to a liquid one, that's good, are inserters. Well, oh, more liquid. Am I even going in any way the right way? I need to go somewhere where this stuff actually being loaded would be helpful. We'll go here, we'll go to the uh, electronic circuits. Um, my initial thought, from having theory crafted it in my head and not booting up the game, is that I won't change anything. But we may as well think about it. This isn't doing anything because. All right, this train can just come back. And this train can go and sort itself out. So, you would still need the two loaders, right? You would still need this into this. So, everywhere where we've got the double, the long stack inserters, uh, uh, yeah, the long inserters working, is functionally no different. I suppose the question is is this just, I mean it's obviously not going to be as fast as a loader, like the two loaders this is 90 belts, 90 uh, items a second, that's very fast. These are all the wrong way around, thanks game. That's better. These are 90 items per second. Like that's quite fast. But it's still, you know, it clearly is faster. Look, I mean, it's, it's like almost twice as fast. I've heard some complaints from people that say they don't like this gap. I don't see how that's any different functionally from the inserter sort of magically taking the items from the side when clearly the hole is on the top. So like graphically, I don't really see the issue. It does look a bit like magic, doesn't it? Um, it does look a little bit like... How is this even working? Whereas the inserters... I suppose... Wow, that filled up already. That's so fast. We're so good. <laughs> um, so everywhere that uses the two stack uh, the two long inserters like that, we could in theory be changing them. Th it would make this very fast, where we're unloading into a s into a six, because of course, when we get copper actually moving, this will be, you know, like I could cut this out. I suppose we could use it for testing. That's not going to work, is it? Um, we could use it for this. To mimic actually having the wagons there. I 
felt like that should have been quicker to do that. I don't know, is the answer. This will make moving forwards a lot easier because once we actually get copper running we can just get rid of this. So I'm inclined I am inclined to do it like that for that reason. Hello? Oh, didn't actually check this box. I am inclined to do it like that, just because it will make tidying this up a lot easier, right? Like I can just do this. Except I can't because the rails are in the way. Um, so that's an option. Which I like. For the for the reverse mega base portion of things at least for the simulation thing part of it. Swapping inserters for I mean what other designs do we have? So we've got our we've got this one, which could be changed. In theory it could be changed. Uh just swapping this for this. UPS wise, I'm not sure. I never am. Uh loading trains. Never had an issue with the loading trains. Because, I mean, the other thing that we've never even talked about is there's nothing really saying that what we sh what we could do here, if we really wanted to load the trains faster, is take these out. Take every other one of these out. And then copy this, rotate it onto this side. And then have this go in here, like this. And the trains that will then be loaded from both sides. And that would load a train so outrageously quickly. As I say, it's not ever come to that yet. And it might come to that eventually. There might be something that we use in such high numbers that that might become a something that we have to do. I didn't really need to do this, I'm just doing it to show you. Because uh, this is also an option, this is going to load the train so fast. Let's bring this back just, just to show you. I know that you believe me, of course. I'm not suggesting that you think I'm lying. I just wanted to just show you an example. Of course, the next step up would be to change all of these to 12 loaders. would be 9 times 12, which is, oh god, 108. 108 items per second. Was that faster than 108 items per second? I don't know. I haven't run the numbers on that yet. I like the inserters. I like the inserters thematically. The loaders... Loaders are very strong as it is. Changing, like the loaders are very, very OP for builds already. Because it takes away, because all of your builds then would have to, you know, they look like this. You, you get to do whole belt builds and rather than just being like, ugh. Uh, so I think, unless there is a design, let's go and have a look at our single belt design ones all the way down here for our. Accumulators, solar panel build. That there may be something that we could do about that. And I'll take a sip of my tea. Uh, I hope everyone's okay. I am, you know, this will be my first full week of full on unemployment. Full on, yes, you do not have a job. Confirmed. Job loss confirmed. And I'm trying not to be too worried about it, but, you know. 
I am the kind of person who worries, so... So the reason I don't think it's going to make any difference here is that you've got one insert, because this is such a small volume of product going through, that you've just got the one uh, superior inserter. Changing that to into loaders, you would have to have two like that, and then this. And then I suppose you would have, you could have the inserters on either side. Uh, the loaders on either side, rather. So, your build would look something like Well, I didn't actually mean for that glass to happen. So you'd need to load that into a buffer. So that's already your three tiles that you're using here. And then I suppose you could do something like this, possibly with an underground here. But... If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I think where loaders might really shine is moving ore around. I think the amount of ore that you could move into a train will be dwarfed when you use loaders. Because to load trains with ore, we're definitely going to want to do the wood one that I just did. Where did I change that? Here. Because the sheer amount of ore and the sheer amount of trains that we're going to need to be moving around, we're going to want to be loading those trains as fast as possible. So moving them to loaders instead of inserters is probably a good idea. Uh, but we can test that. And I suppose we could test that now. Maybe we should test that. Uh, it's possible I should have just done all of this off camera, but... It's fine. We want to test it, right? We want to make sure. It's only been 20 minutes. It's fine. You can cope. You can cope with this. No. If you're lucky, I'll cut this bit out. Probably. I probably will. That's probably something. I'll probably leave that little bit in there as the joke. Now we can test things properly. As soon as these rails show up. Okay. So these are your inserters. Cargo contents there I'm looking at. It's ticking up. It's quite fast. It's quite fast. And here's your loaders. That honestly doesn't seem as fast. Although maybe it is. I'm going to have to get the old stopwatch out, aren't I? This goes up incrementally as the inserters swing and put things down. And then unloading. I mean, unloading should just be the same speed. Should just be the same speed. Alright, I'm going to get the stop. I'm going to get my stopwatch out on my phone, so you're going to have to just believe me here. Clock. Stopwatch. Okay, and go. Ish, roughly. You know, it's not. This isn't an exact science. What's happening here? It was about eight seconds. About, about eight seconds. Now I don't know how we're gonna do this one. I'm gonna have to just hope, wait and see. Because we're not necessarily gonna know that things are moving. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a bit of a delay on that because of my reaction time. But that was about a second faster-ish, roughly. Probably more, given my reaction times. Obviously with this it's easier because I can see when the inserts start swinging. With this one I have to just look.
It's got to be faster. It's got to be faster to do the loaders. But it's not that much faster. Is there a way I can just make two trains go at the same time? I'd like for them to just go at the same time. This will be the ultimate test. Try and stand roughly in the middle so that my bots do things at the same time. I mean, that's about as fair a test as you're going to get. Wow! Really? Okay. These are the same length of track. I copy and pasted it, so even though it doesn't look like it lines up, it does. It's the same length of track on both sides. Because this sticks out here, but it comes in equally far on that side. Oh, this one left a bit quicker, but that's fine. Only by a fraction of a second. So the, the travel time is different on uh, not different it is the same it's just I mean yeah I can't really I mean, that's not really a fair test but I'm amazed that this one emptied faster the first the second time I wonder if there's some thing going on here with the sheer number of loaders that maybe the belts aren't full. Because it's update it's doing too many updates. Yes, having these infinity chests come back would have been nice. Well, the belts are full, obviously. We know that. I don't know, then. Okay. Let me turn this off in the most sensible way I can imagine. Just to get rid of all of these. And then let the iron ore delete itself. And then we'll just do a bulk delete order on it later, once all of these are gone. Oh, I, actually, I would like to see this once more. I would like to see this happen once more. Is it not working on this side? I think it's possible that it actually was never working on this side. But when I copy and pasted it, I did it the wrong way around. Yeah. Foiled again. Foiled again by the insert by the loaders going the wrong way around. Okay, well that changes quite a lot. Funny, funny stuff. Whoa, good lord. Okay, yeah, that's better. <laughs> Alright, loaders win. Loaders win quite handily. As we knew they would. I mean, let's, as I say, let's be honest. Each one of these inserters would have to be moving 45 items a second so that two of them were 90 to match the loader. Um,. So yeah, proven it with science. I, 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 we we 
we thought it was the case and now we know it's the case. I mean this is going to be bonkers now, like look at this bar go, crazy. Slow down at the end as they weren't all sorted but that's the end of these as well. Doesn't feel that fast. Are these definitely all still the right way around? I don't know. I mean, I can see the ore on the belt here. I'm surprised that said it was full. Yeah. Alright, that's good enough for me. Turn my roboports off. Alt D. Get rid of it. Put the grid back. There we go. I'll, I'll, I'll edit that down as much as I can. You don't want to see 32 minutes of me testing that. It was really, it was not that exciting. Um, the other thing is I do want to start getting rid of the large RoboPort network. I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. It's it's time for it to go. For sure this time. And we'll go. We'll we'll, we'll change to having trains that are fully loaded with the stuff that we want. Um, and we'll still use the infinity chest hub thing for that uh, so let me just make my way down to where that is going to happen which is going to be just here okay alright so first things first would like a copy of this hub. Mm, somewhere. Here. And then... Deleting all of this is going to be a nightmare. That's going to be quite a lot of robots doing things, but it has to be done. I could get rid of the infinity chests and then just let this run dry, but there's no guarantee it'll ever run dry either. Just get rid of it. Thanks, Autosave. Just get rid of it. It'll be funny to watch all of the robots suddenly need to do. I mean, I did only stack these to 50, so actually it turns out it's not that much of an imposition anyway. I really thought that was going to take a lot longer than it did. I honestly thought it'd be moving like 20,000 items there. Okay, I'm wrong. As I so often have. Um, right, good. Get rid of that. Get rid of this for now. Turn my river port back on. That would help. Okay. I'm going to want more than one train, but I'm just going to design one and then copy and paste it. And I need enough space on the top four rows of I'm trying to get the signal in but not have the thing so high that it also gets the radar didn't manage it so I'll still use the train oh except this needs to be a slightly different design, doesn't it? Because the train needs to come in and leave now. So this doesn't quite work. Alright, screw the whole thing. Screw the whole thing. Put the T-junction back. And just give me the actual station grid. We'll just do it like this. Too close to existing rail signal. Oh, what are these? What are these doing here? These are not relevant. This isn't relevant at all, anyway. All right, get rid of get rid of this. 
Oh, what a faff. Uh, put the eye back. And then station grid. Large robot is in the way. And this will be hopefully the last time we ever have to see that. Uh, station grid. There. I suppose it's sensible to have the station grid because we're going to need the train fuel thing to happen here as well. Um. We, are, we don't necessarily need it to happen here because these trains will all get fueled. Yeah, we're not going to do it here. No way. Even though there is room for it. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? And then we'll put you... here. Alright, job done. Now it's a lot of robots. It's, it's fine. That's all good. It's all good. Right. So we just need to train load it up with basically everything that we will need. Um, if there's something that we forget that's like quite niche, like say um, a filtration plant or something like that, we do have our infinity chest, so we can just get things to turn up that we want. But obviously we don't want to have to be putting infinity chests down every single time we want belts and undergrounds and inserters and stuff like that. So. We will design the train to just be full of the good stuff. Just merely the good stuff. Uh, have I got... I want to start doing the good practice of having the fuel in and out at the same time. Because even though it is an infinity chest, we can just overwrite that with blue and yellow chests and then it is sorted. Eight wagons. It's so many. Alright, belts. Clearly. Clearly belts. And then... I just have a whole wagon of belts. What do these stack to? A hundred. Yeah. Four thousand belts. Yeah, alright, fine. Four thousand belts. Uh, undergrounds are very much needed. Hey, mining technology complete. Hey, why isn't this on auto Riku multi-level technologies? Why didn't that do anything? Don't know. Bug report. Um, undergrounds, loads of undergrounds. Can never have too many undergrounds. Uh, splitters, won't need that many splitters, but may as well fill a row just because we can have so much space on the train. Loaders, again, loads of loaders, right. Uh, and then what we do is we just do active provider chests for these. Nope, the other way around. Request a chest, sorry. Oh, uh, you do request a chest for these. How does this not have a. Oh, these don't have power. I can say, how does this not. In, an, in a RoboPort network, how is that not right? So, uh, 100 each in there, I guess. I didn't need to filter this because obviously it's just going to be full of belts, but. 100 is not enough. 1,000. Although, even that is probably not enough because. What did I tell this to do? 4,000. It's fine, it will work. It's just, it's going to have problems the very first time. Uh, this one is the th is three other things. So, uh, belts. Sorry, undergrounds, splitters, and loaders. What else? Pylons, I suppose. Not too many of those. Substations. Whoops. Substations for sure. Inserters. Various types of inserter. That seems like overkill. We don't actually use that many inserters, do we? 
It's more for the loading and unloading of trains. Um, I want to do train stuff at the, at, at the end. Oh, I should have thought about this a bit more than I have. Boxes, definitely boxes. Steel chests. Medium containers, large containers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, it doesn't really matter how many items we tell the train to, to do. You'd have to be a bit careful with how you load them. If you load, if you have one requester chest do everything, then the inserter can sometimes get stuck picking up more items than it can put in the train and then never does anything else. Because it can't empty its hand into the train and turn around and then pick up the next thing. Uh, so, one, two, three. So the, the limit is 12 items, basically. 12 items to a train. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, blue and yellow chests is eight, nine. Are we going to need these? No, we may as well do liquid storage then. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. It's a bit of a waste, but... Can I just put something else extra in that I think I might need? It's fine. It's fine. Let me copy and paste this bit now. Hello? Copy. Just so you have it. Okay. Pylons. Substations. Steel chests. Medium containers, large containers, storage tanks, large storage tanks, huge storage tanks. Could I have just made these infinity chests? Did I have to be moving them from here? No, I'll do it like this, because I one day might actually will make them all here. I could make them all here one day. I could change this to be double wide and have trains bringing in all the items to make everything. May as well future-proof it. Uh, what have I forgotten? Inserters, blue chests and yellow chests. Superior inserter. Superior long inserter. Requester chests and storage chests. Okay. Next up is oh oh I forgot if I would do that when I copy and pasted that. Uh, next up, I suppose, should be we're done with this page. Let's do all the buildings that we may want. Advanced assembly machines might need more than a hundred of those at a time. Crushers, oil refineries. Might need a few more oil refineries. They only stack to 10 as well, don't they? Yeah, whereas these stack to 50. So, yeah, give me loads of oil refineries. Eh. Yeah, alright, fine. Whatever. Let's not overthink it. Condensers. These stack to 50, I believe. Do they? Yeah. We do use a lot of them though. Give me five of those. And I'll just I'll just change this to be a bit neater. Um Advanced chemical plants. Definitely need on the regular. Don't need any quantum computers anymore. Very rarely need centrifuges. 
Don't need any of this very often, at least. I'll do greenhouses just because... No, 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 I won't do that. It's, the buildings is the one that I feel like is the least relevant, because I will just spawn the buildings that I need in an infinity chest. Oh, uh, furnaces for sure. Um. Obviously, singularity beacons and beacons and stuff like that. Anything else we can sort of roll into this? Radars. Well, I'll leave some space. I'll leave some space. Just in case there's something I do forget. Assembly machines. Crushers. Oil refineries. Condensers. Advanced chemical plants. I suppose I did need fuel refineries. Furnaces. Uh, advanced radars. This is, you know, we can change this. It's good to leave a bit early away. Alright, and then... This one is just going to be beacons. These only stack to ten, so definitely give me a full train of these bad boys. Singularity beacons stack to fifty, and we don't use as many, so we'll go... Whoops. No. Please. When when it's there, it's already... I can't shift left click and do it because it's already in the train. There, I got it. Quickly. <laughs> Give me two rows of these. I do feel like a row of speed threes and a row of prod threes is not going to be enough that we might have to end up sending the train back. But we shall see. Yeah, my, my own personal logistics is saying this as well. So when we go back and we... This is the other thing, is that we're going to load... We're going to have these things in our personal logistics. We don't know for sure if we need more than 50 of these at a time, ever, because I've been having them come to me through the logistics network quite often. What is all this doing here? This is probably the kind of situation where you just put your entire inventory into the trash lots and let it sort itself out. Anyway. Uh, singularity beacons. We'll do that just for simplicity. Speed module threes and prod module threes. All right, train bits. Loads of train stuff. Loads of train stuff. Stack of stations. Two stacks of stations, why not? Two stacks of rail signals. Two stacks of rail chain signals. These only stack to five, so two... Mm. Yeah, yeah, two of those. These only stack to... These only stack to five as well, wagons. Alright, change of plan. You're just rails. Wrong button. And then the last wagon is... 
some train stations, some signals, some rail signals, some trains, some cargo wagons, some fluid wagons. One, two, one, two, three, four. Uh, oh, I've picked the wrong locomotive. I forgot. Nuclear locomotives. Nucle nuclear. It's pronounced nuclear. Uh, and we will need small robo ports going forwards because we're going to want to. Whoa! Logistics robots just brought in all of the uh, rails from the other area. Uh, yeah, we're going to need small robo ports because we're going to want to change that up. Uh, what else? Wires and stuff I'll have in my own personal network. So that's fine. We'll have a train for mining stuff, I think, should be separate, because we'll need to set that up at the very end. So I'm not too worried about that now, but it is something we will need to think about. A mining train, just for setting up mining outposts. So mining drills uh, with the quarry drills, and things like that. I didn't put medium power poles anywhere, did I? Do I need 250 pylons? Oh, I can't put it in this train anyway because it's already 12 items. Okay. No! <laughs> I knew that would happen. Oh, when you control click like that, it takes them all. Oh, what a disaster. Just give me the stack, please. Ah, alright. I'm sure you used to be able to control click your empty inventory slot and it would just put it all into trash slots. Did they get rid of that? I'm going to have to just control click each individual thing that I think I might have too much of. Oh, I want those. It's the big ones I don't want. I don't need the small ones. Oh, I do need the small ones, don't I? Ah, I do need the small ones. Not the small ones, sorry. The, the regular robo-ports, because... They will be the centerpiece of the network. Each individual module's bit... Alright, is that 12 items yet? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, that's fine. I have almost certainly forgotten something quite important, but train stations, rail signals, chain signals, nuclear wagons, cargo wagons, fluid wagons, tiny robo ports, medium robo ports. Okay. That wasn't smart. Alright. That's fine, isn't it? That's so much of what we use on a, reg on a regular basis. Like, definitely the medium power pose. In fact, I feel like that's probably not enough medium power pose. Why do you do that? That's so frustrating. Offshore pumps. That is probably something we should have. That is definitely something that will get forgotten. Oh, and pipes. Yeah. Alright, I'm using this space for this then. The steel pipe stack to 200, isn't it? 50? Ugh. I might just have to do this whole one again and just say that this isn't... This isn't good enough. Change the whole lot. Two stacks of each of those. All your refineries only stack to ten. But still. 
Atmospheric condenser stack to 50, so you're fine. You can you can go. Advanced chemical plant stack to 50. All right, I don't need that many of those then. Furnaces stack to 50, and probably don't need that many of those. That's probably a bit much. Radars. Radar stack to 50, but if we are built, if we are expanding the grid, then I probably would want some of those. All right, so then now stuff like steel pumps and offshore pumps can go in that space. Can't find them. Can't find them. They don't exist. Offshore pumps. Medium electric poles definitely need a bunch of... Yeah, and then some steel pipes and some underground steel pipes and then let's just double check that this makes sense. Not using lights currently. I will need the com combinators and stuff for when I do the fuel programming station thing, but I won't need that many, and I feel like my personal logistics network will sort it. It's going to be a mess for a little while, because um, I am going to, when I delete the big RoboPort network, I am going to obviously realize that I don't have a certain thing on me but we've got the infinity chests for emergencies I suppose waterfill and landfill needs to come from somewhere as well uh, but we could have a different train for different things we could have two of these trains and then we could bring in like the terraforming train or it might make more sense to have spidertrons for things like terraforming. Have a spidertron filled with landfill and, and some water fill, and have a spidertron filled with radars and pylons for the expansion of this. That might make more sense. It's more just having a train like this that is full of stuff. Uh, anyway, um, this will be a worthwhile endeavour, trust me. <laughs> I always lose them. We're in production. I mean, they do produce water. I suppose that makes sense. Okay, let's try this again. Seems to be working. Alright. That'll do. That'll do. And the train can get in and out, so... How did I manage to break my inventory so much? Ten train. At least now that we don't necessarily need to worry about things like having ten trains on us and you know, fifty of each thing. I will leave the network up for a bit just to be sure, but I am g I will quickly I think it's time seeing while well, we've still got the network up before I get the spidertrons to do things. Big rock is in the way. Let's do a big expansion just as a just as a finale here for this episode. My OBS says an hour, but obviously I'm gonna cut some of that out. It's thinking about it. It's thinking about it. There they go. How much taller should we make it versus wide? That is that is a good question. But we may as well expand as much as we feel like we need to, so that then when I am ready to delete all the robo ports, a lot of the infrastructure is already there. So let's assume for now four, four, and another four offset this way. So 16 modules in total, 
No, 12 modules in total, each one with room for 5. So 60. 60 individual factories. That should be good. We might need more, but be an easy case of just going into here and changing this blueprint to not include the large robo ports and just getting the Spidertron to do it. Getting a Spidertron to do it. We can do that now. Where are you? It's miles away, hurry up! Hurry up, would you? Where are you suddenly decided you need to go? Fair enough. Oh my god, why did I ever take the exoskeletons out of that Spidertron? What a mistake. Yeah, we'll probably just have a Spidertron to do the mining. Because then we can just get a decent blueprint for the mining operation down and just plop it down and send the Spidertron that way to do it for us. Because we were never going to get the robot network to do that anyway because it's going to be so far out. I'm not covering the entire play space in. Oh, look at this. There's a gap missing in the blueprint. Just here in this top left corner. It's not that critical. It doesn't cause any gaps in the network. Look at it go! Um, it's what a landfill and a water fill Spidertron. These now don't serve any purpose. We don't need a landfill and a water fill Spidertron, just a Spidertron that does both. Well, it doesn't mean whenever I need water I'm going to... Oh, no, no, I'll have water in my personal inventory. It just means I'm going to have to make the effort to come back to my personal inventory, inventory area. But that's fine, I can make the effort to do that, especially at the start of an episode. Every episode might just start from here. What's going on? Oh, they're doing all of this bit. Okay. Okay, the Spidertron has arrived. Did I not put water on this one? Did I only put water on this one? Did I not put water on any of them? But I have it. It's 105 in logistic storage. Am I blind? I do appear to just be blind. There's three of these, which is the other thing I wanted to get away from, was having to update three different hubs. There. Yeah, there's the water one. What about landfill? Do I do landfill here in the hub? I might, no, I don't think I initially did it because I thought I won't need it because I don't. There's no water, but then, obviously, once I added water, I realised I needed to cover up the water because I would make a mistake with uh, there is. So your logistics thing is now garbage. Just the fuel and the robots that you need. That's not how I thought that would work. Sure. 
You're just empty. You just don't have the exoskeletons. What was I thinking? Why did this happen? Hello? There is a setting I know to allow. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe I un maybe I didn't tick that setting or something, and that's it's taken them out. Ugh, I'll have to change that. Crustorio. Allow exoskeletons in Spidertron. Yeah, I'll fix that, don't worry. I'll fix that. Because we can't have the Spidertron moving at this slower pace. It's just not good enough. So three exoskeletons in here just to speed things up. This might be overkill. I might be able to get away with slightly less space for this. Maybe try and use something like solar panels and batteries, because they are going to be stood around for a fair amount of time. This generates 4 megawatts, whereas even the best solar panels, 2x2... Two two, nah, I don't think you're going to get more bang for your buck than this 4x4 four four item and 2 batteries. Yeah. Alright. You get some water and a whole bunch of... I was going to say a whole bunch of landfill, but it's not really necessary to have a whole bunch of landfill because, as I say, we're not really going to... We're only going to be landfilling mistakes. And we're only going to be putting water down... Yeah, this isn't actually necessary at all, is it? I keep thinking like I'm playing on a regular vanilla map and I'm going to need to send the Spidertron out to landfill huge swathes of ocean. I mean, what you really need is you just need loads of... You basically need... I wish I could do this. I wish there was a way to do this, to put a blueprint in the logistics request slot. For it, or even a request a chest and just say, just ask for everything in this blueprint. Just set the request for this blue for this chest at this many rails this many electric poles this many radars you know because then I can just send the spidertron out to do this job if I need another huge grid section and I might even change this just so that all of the stuff in the middle isn't there and the stuff with the middle will just happen when I build the modules which I suppose I could do Like, if I have a blank one here and just tell it to get rid of all of this. So only grid squares that actually have something in. So, like, get rid of all of this. And then, on top of that, get rid of all of the robo-ports in that section as well. And then upgrade this blueprint to... Well, that doesn't even snap to grid, so I don't even need to do that. I can just make a new one. So from the T-junction, from the top of this... I suppose there's a gap in radar and that coverage now is the only thing with that. But I forget how big a... How good a, a, a radar is. I mean, it's not... Obviously, it's not gone into the fog of war yet. So we can safely assume that between this radar here and this radar here, it is covering the middle. On that radar there. So let's make this its own blueprint now. So yeah, I mean, that is... I mean, it's got a lot of rails to it, but it is fairly light on everything else. Of course, when I put if all of the roboports are gone and I want to expand, I will have to send the Spidertron out to do that, but that, that is acceptable. So if we tell the Spidertron that it needs 4,100 rails... Th 
300 pylons, 100 rail chain signals, 100 radars, and some rail signals. I don't, those rail signals are only in the T's. Same with the rain trail signals, they're only in the T's. The straights don't have anything yet because they'll only need them when the T junctions go in there. They shouldn't really be using them otherwise. Uh, so, what did I just say? Hundred of these. Fifty of these. Hundred radars. And three hundred pylons. Uh, so in theory now this Spidertron could do the grid sections by themselves. And the added benefit of not having any of the middle is that when I tell the Spidertron to just do it, I can just go tell it to just do it like this. Might like have to tell it to do that. I won't have to then tell it to go, and also you need to fill in all of the middle. Like this is flipping Wii Trauma Center or something. Niche reference, niche reference. Um, okay, I know this, this episode was a bit of a, you know, a bit of a mishmash of nothing. But... It was housekeeping. There will be some edits in this because there was a lot of rambling from me in the middle when I was setting up that testing for the loaders, which is just boring and needs to be cut. And yeah, I might also, in my myriad spare times from being unemployed, haha, do some of the stuff that I said I'm gonna was gonna have been doing ages ago. So, like setting up a module for energy control units, and setting up a module for AI cores, just stuff that will be easy because everything is going to look like, not that one, they're all gonna, no, not that one, hello? What on earth? Like this, there we go. They're all just going to look like this. They're going to have inputs in, some amount of beacons, and then they're going to come out and be balanced into a station. Like there really is no... The only the only major consideration would just be how many modules of each thing do I need. And that is something else I have to go back through as well, is remind myself how many times I need to actually copy and paste all of these things down. Uh, and I might have to install the text plates mod just so I can like put a note somewhere in the corner of the module that just says times two times four or whatever it ends up being but again that's all stuff that I don't need to do on camera that will be extremely dull but you know I can just put AI cores here and put uh, I want to say electric engines but I keep re keep realizing that I haven't sorted lubricant out yet uh, which is kind of annoying because I don't actually move oil around, like, I, heavy oil, there's a lot of heavy oil here, but there's no way I'm going to try and squeeze in a production of lubricant here just to make the, I'm more likely to just bring crude oil in as part of the um, process of making lubricant, or I might do it with uh, cracking. But then I'll have to find something to do with the light oil and the petroleum gas in that same module, and I might just have to burn it. Which sucks. But one of the one of the considerations we had when we were thinking, oh, what's the best way to do this, was to not actually move any of the liquid products from crude oil around. We just bring crude oil in and take plastic out. We don't then move the petroleum out around to make plastic somewhere. Same with the sulfuric acid don't move the petroleum around somewhere to make sulfuric acid, we just pump it straight into the sulfur plant and then put the sulfur straight into the sulfuric acid plant. Not moving around, flipping a million units of petroleum gas a minute around the base, because it will be that much. Anyway, that was another aside that I'm 
not sure was relevant. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please let me know with a like and a comment. And if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.